Hey guys, no Force Mini Wargamer here. Um, yeah, I know I said I wouldn't be doing another one of these until the 18th when my cast comes off, but um, luckily enough, um, I've tried painting and you know I'm somehow managing it. It's a bit cack-handed, but you know I'm basically painting without a thumb. I'm using my three of my fingers to sort of hold the brush, <laughs> and it's a bit, it's a bit strange. Um, it was very hard at first, but you know what, you get used to it, you adapt, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, considering, I like to think, considering I didn't have a thumb to paint this model, I painted this with a very strange technique, that he's come out really well. Um, you know, I've, I've hope, I hope that I've maintained at least a similar quality to what I normally produce, if my normal quality is any good, that is. But you know, um, so yeah, here's Lord Cranon. Um, he's the first model that I'm making a video of on the Dark Vengeance box set, obviously bar the actual box set. Um, he is the first model I've done, and he is an absolutely stunning model to paint. He's really fun, a really good model to paint. It's really enjoyable. And the colour scheme that's on the box is I've, the one I've used, which is really just just really nice the red and the blue goes absolutely lovely together and the blue is a really nice color to paint with like I hope I've done the cape I know I'm not I'm not the best with them um, color blending or anything so I haven't I've done shading in terms of where the cloak folds here and I hope it looks all right I think it does oh, it's growing on me I mean I've tried it here it's not the best but you know I'm, I'm getting there I'll give it a, another go on some of the more or some other models um, some of the Dark Angel stuff with all their cloaks and their hoods and librarians and stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, put a lot of time into this. I mean, it slowed it down. Slowed it down, obviously, using this um, strange technique. But um, I mean, I've gotten there. I've got there in the end. Um, yeah, I personally think he's really not. He's a really good model to do. He is. Um, and the great thing about Dark Vengeance is this guy's not put together with much glue at all. The only thing I've glued on this model is ba is the backpack to the back, because the backpack to the back is only held together by a little bit. It's like a a square, um, a little joint sort of thing just underneath it, where it's like a socket joint almost, um, but with a square and. I just thought that's that's going to keep falling off and that's going to be really annoying, so I glued that in. But the rest is held in by, um, it's almost clicks together, it's like a snap together model. And the whole box set's like it, it's brilliant. Um, it go They go together really quickly, it took me about a day to make pretty much all of them. You know, probably not, not a day, like I got, him, I got them on Thursday, um, came home about 4 o'clock-ish and, you know, I was done by 10. Well, probably it was later than I came back, back later than four, so you know it's it doesn't take long to put these guys together. Um, they're brilliant fun to put together because it's really easy, nice and easy, snaps together, and uh, it's very feels very rewarding when you can get the whole box set done. But Cranon is um, at the moment my favourite model in the box set. Um, uh, he's the only one I've painted. I am currently painting another model. I'm currently working on the Hellbrute. He's going to be the next model to go up. I've decided that I'm going to do the Chaos first because I can, I've can. i understood the colour scheme and I've got it down and I know what's going on. So I'm going to do him and then the Hellbrute and then I believe it's going to be the six chosen marines that I'm going to work on. Um, so I'll get the two independent characters, independent-ish sort of models. Um, obviously one's a vehicle. Um, to you guys first, uh, as they're the most intricate and detailed. Having said that, this whole box set, the level of detail on this whole box set is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the models look great, and I've had a go at painting some of the chosen just to see how I'm going to do it, and uh, it's come out quite nicely. I haven't finished it, but the, what I have done, it's coming out really nice, and I'm really happy with it. It was an absolutely great purchase, and I recommend it to anybody who wants to start, you know, start a, an army. A little army, uh, get it going, or you know, two mates, or two, 
two family members who want to start, you know, there's an army in there for both of you, like, so it's brilliant. But yeah, so there's Lord Cranon, guys. Um, the next one uh, will be around next Wednesday. You know, um, I've got a codex coming on the way for the Imperial Guard. I'm going to be starting some of them as well. Um, these are mainly, I bought these models because it would be brilliant for my channel. Um, model model count wise and model intricacy wise and detail. Um, however, I am starting an Imperial Guard army and that's going to be the army that I take on to do battle reports with later on in the year and well, later on, it'll obviously be in 2014 now, because um, the Imperial Guard require a lot of models. <laughs> and uh, I just don't have the funds to buy them all at once, so I'll have to do that over a, a few months. Plus, that way I can do painted uh, model up, model showcases and whatnot of them along the way. Um, but yeah, guys, so if you like this video, like it. Uh, please comment on it, say what you like, say what you don't like, tell me what your favourite model in the Dark Vengeance set, if you've got it, is, and um, if you've got it, do you think it's good value for money? Um, leave your comments down below, and thank you for watching, please comment, rate and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.